each country depending on its financial capability and depending on the agenda should do its part of the job. President Eliev, it's a pleasure as always to be here talking with you. We are here in Berlin for the Petersburg Climate Dialogue. Well, this really is the beginning of the road to COP29. You know, your team must be very excited. What can we expect from this year's COP and how much is going to be actionable, not just discussion? We want to create an environment which will be comfortable for all the parties. We had great experience in building bridges in non-aligned movement. As you know, we've been chairing the movement for four years with 120 members. Really, we, I think, made a big progress. Um, we are actively working with uh, countries of European Union. We've uh, signed and adopted strategic partnership declaration. So in other words, Global South and the West and how to engage together in the addressing issues of climate change, how to strengthen solidarity shared responsibility and reduce certain mistrust with respect to the issues of climate change because you know different ideas, different views. The idea of fossil fuels is something that dominated the headlines last year at COP28 in the UAE and I just wondered whether you think it is a positive development within the COP history to have a fossil fuel producing country leading the way, making the changes and the transitions. That's actually what we're trying to achieve and one of my messages today at the conference was that don't judge us by what we have, judge us by how we treat what we have, by our agenda. And also one of the issues which uh, is important to understand is, apart from what I've said about our involvement in Europe, in non-aligned movement, we're also members of OPEC plus countries. And uh, we are already working with many oil producing um, countries in order to create a kind of a solidarity package prior to COP. What can be additional? I think that oil producing countries, especially when the price of oil is high, should pay more, should give uh, more in order to tackle the problem. So solidarity is, I think, integral part of financing and um, how we'll succeed. What would you love to be the lasting legacy for COP29. If we can make additional step towards green world and tangible step with a continuation, I think that will be the most important legacy. At the same time, as you know, uh, one uh, initiative which is new for COP already was put forward by us, a creation of Troika yeah. of free countries. So uh, using the experience of UAE and now Azerbaijan and later Brazil to create uh, this trilateral format of cooperation because each of these three countries has um, involvement in different regional, sure. political, economic, etc. issues. So combination of uh, efforts, solidarity, we should stop blaming each other. Mm -hmm. Those countries which do not have oil should not point finger on those who have. <laughs> Small developing countries should not demand big countries saying that you are responsible for climate disaster. So this is um, diplomacy, policy, finance, and of course as a host country, we I think uh, can create a platform for that. Mr. President, always a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you so much for your Thank time you very today. Much. Thank you.